the people of Ukraine remain unbroken, unbroken. U.S. President Joe Biden on Wednesday ended this week's NATO summit in Lithuania with a vow of unwavering support for Ukraine and a promise of the military alliance's unity in the face of Russian President Vladimir Putin's aggression. When Putin and his craven lust for land and power unleashed his brutal war on Ukraine, he was betting NATO would break apart. We will not waver. We will not waver. I mean that. Our commitment to Ukraine will not weaken. We will stand for liberty and freedom today, tomorrow, and for as long as it takes. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky joined leaders of the world's most powerful military bloc. Ahead of meetings Wednesday, he'd argued emphatically his nation needed membership in the alliance. For that, though, he will have to wait. NATO members, including the United States, said that Ukraine could not join NATO in the midst of a war, but that it could win membership once the fighting was resolved. I look forward to the day when we're having the meeting celebrating your official, official membership in NATO. Thank you so much for this help. At a meeting of the two leaders, Zelensky thanked the U.S. and its citizens. You spend this money for our lives, and uh, I think that we save the, the lives for, for, for Europe and for, for all the world. At a press conference, Zelensky called the summit positive, saying it was unambiguous that Ukraine will one day be in NATO. And he's leaving with more than pledges. Zelensky thanked German Chancellor Olaf Scholz for supplying additional launchers and missiles for the Patriot air defense system. The arms cannot come too soon. These Ukrainian soldiers told a Reuters camera that they were in dire need of ammunition to sustain a counteroffensive against Russian forces occupying swaths of the country's east. Ukraine's state border service on Wednesday released aerial footage of what it said was a Russian tank rolling onto a damaged bridge near the city of Kherson. The video shows the tank hit by an explosion. It then attempts to retreat before running off the road. Its crew then abandons the vehicle. But Moscow on Wednesday staged its own demonstration of resolve. The Russian Navy held a launch ceremony for a new missile cruiser for its Black Sea Fleet, based in Russian-occupied Crimea. The vessel is reportedly capable of launching eight cruise missiles at once. Ukraine has repeatedly accused Russia of targeting civilians and infrastructure with long-range missile strikes. Russia's foreign ministry said on Wednesday the NATO summit showed the Western alliance turning to what it called Cold War schemes and pledged that Moscow would, quote, continue to strengthen the country's military organization and defense system.